Capricorn and pessimism. Let's talk about it. If you're a first time listener or a first time watcher, I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a natural intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader. And I thank you for listening and watching. And I would love it if you would contact me for your own personal, private, confidential tarot reading at lamartownsendtarot.com or your own birth chart reading, okay? Any information that you uh, may need or any questions you may have, you can check out the FAQ section and the personal ethics section, once again, at lamartownsintero.com, okay? I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification button so you get a notification whenever I upload a new video. And I would also love it if you would follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. The, link, the links will be down below in the description box, okay? Capricorn and pessimism. Well, let's start by defining exactly what pessimism is for some of you who may not know what that means. Pessimism, as de uh, defined uh, by dictionary.com, is the tendency to see, anticipate, or emphasize only bad or undesirable outcomes, results, conditions, or problems. The doctrine that the existing world is the worst of all possible worlds, or that all things naturally tend to be evil. The belief that the evil and pain in the world are not compensated for by goodness and happiness. This is what pessimism is. Basically a tendency to believe the worst, you know, to, you know, believe that only the worst can happen, to expect the worst, you know, and, and not hope for the best. This is sometimes the thought pattern or, you know, thought process, um, you know, that Capricorn can sometimes fall into is, is pessimistic thinking, you know, being a pessimist, a pessimist. And, you know, it's, it's in our nature, you know, by the way, I'm a Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn sun, Virgo rising, uh, Libra moon and Mercury, Mars, and Sad, so I have a lot going on, I'm a complex person, right, but, um, with Capricorns, you know, we tend to kind of naturally fall into that pessimistic sometimes, not all the time, sometimes, you know, depending on what combination you have with your moon rising and so on, but anyways, you know, sometimes we can nonetheless fall into that state of thinking, right? And it comes from us knowing that, you know, on a very deep level, deep soul level, you know, through experience, that life is not always what it seems, that, you know, the good always has to come, the good does have to come with the bad. You can't always, you know, everything can't always be perfect. You know, you have to work hard for what you, you want, you know, and, you know, and what you desire. Um, and... Sometimes, you know, even when we're doing good Capricorns, you know, sometimes, you know, even when things are, you know, level and, you know, when, you know, we're, we're doing good, we have money in the bank, we have food to eat, we have, you know, a roof over our head and the power works and the lights are on and, you know, we don't need candles to see, you know, like, you know, like we, when everything's good, for some reason we can still fall into that pessimistic mode like that pessimistic state of thinking especially what you know when things are good but there's that possibility that things could go wrong maybe you know we had to make a big expense like i was just talking to my capricorn friend about this the other day he was like freaking out because he had to like uh kind of drain his bank account to pay off something you know went wrong with his car and he's a Capricorn, I'm a Capricorn, he's like freaking out, you know, he's, you know, basically kind of blurring, blurbing like out all his, you know, anxieties and fears and, you know, all those types of things, you know, meanwhile, he's also like, you know, but yeah, you know, I could just get two jobs and I could, you know, I could be good, you know, I just need to work hard and be positive, you know, apply at some places, 
you know, and it's just like, it, it's nice to see that, that side come out, like that positive, hopeful side, you know, that optimistic side of, of Capricorn. But then, like, you know, he falls right back into that, you know, but man, like, you know, I'm just worried because, you know, now I only have like a, you know, a couple, you know, hundred or so and so to my name right now. And, oh my gosh, I, this never happens. And then he falls right back into that pessimistic state of thinking, right? So I had to tell him, like, you know, um, we'll call him Jose, all right? That's almost what his name is, but we'll call him Jose, all right? I had to be like, Jose, like, stop falling into your pessimistic Capricornian state of thinking and just think positive, do what you have to do. Yes, you know, be ambitious, go get two jobs if you have to, to get your bank account back to this type of stability that you need it to be. You know, go after, you know, those goals that you just told me about. He was like, you know, he wants to move and like he has all these goals and ambitions. He's like, you know, you know, me and my family, we want, we want to do this and this and this. But like, but then like, you know, the thing holding him back is but that that pessimistic state of thinking. Right. But, you know, but man, like I only have a 100 to my name right now. And right now, like things are bad right now. Things are like the worst right now. I'm like, Jose, right now is right now. What about tomorrow? What about the future? Like, let's, like, let's be positive. Let's be optimistic. Like, you've got this, dude. I don't like calling people bro because I hate call people calling me bro. Um, but that's, like, a whole different topic. Um, you can watch my video on gender neutrality for that. Um, but, yeah, I just hate the word bro but dude's okay right so i was like yeah like dude just be positive man have a more optimistic outlook like you are good you you're better off than you know a lot of other people you know in the world like you know we live in the richest county in the country like you are you're fine dude this is real life like i'm this is a true story you know like i literally have this conversation with my friend jose a week ago or so, like, not a, a couple of days ago, <clears throat> um, I wonder how he's doing, though, but, e like, even then, like, you know, yeah, man, like, good talk, you know, we, we, like, part ways, like, you know, I, like, I wonder if he, like, I'm sure he still falls back into that pessimistic states of thinking, you know, like, every now and then, especially, like, when things get, seem to get worse and worse and worse, little by little by little, before they get better, right, because that's often how it happens, right, things get, like, the worst, like, the absolute worst, before that major turn happens, you know, like, you know, so don't give up before that major turn happens, Capricorn, like, be more positive, and maybe you'll reach that major turn sooner, right, um, you know, cause sometimes when we fall too deep into that pessimistic state of thinking, like we fall, it's like we fall into a rabbit hole, which can like lead to like depression and, you know, just like an absolute state of negativity that's hard to climb back out of. Like, you know, it's like we kind of have to be reacclimated to function in society in a normal kind of way. Cause you know, sometimes we can get a little bit loopy a little bit, you know, when we fall into that really pessimistic state of thinking. So Capricorns, <laughs> it's not in our natural state to be optimistic, no, because we are realistic, we are realists, you know, we need to see facts, we need to see, you know, you know, what we see is, is what it is, and that's just what it is, but sometimes we need to see beyond, and um, be, have faith, that what lies beyond what lies in the future you know d let's not think of right now let i mean let's let's think of right now we have to be think of right now we have to be real we have to be realist and focus on right now because we can't f fix the right now without focusing on what's right now but at the same time we have to have hope we have to have optimism for the future because if we have negative we have if we have pessim a pessimistic outlook for the right now and, and a pessimistic outlook for the future, that's not going to work. If we have a pessimistic outlook on the right now, it's going to affect our optimistic outlook on the future. So we have to just be optimistic all around, right? It's hard, I know, because we, we think the absolute worst. We expect the worst. That's how you 
don't set yourself up for disappointment. You expect the worst. When it happens, you're good. You're not disappointed. But sometimes that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, Capricorn. So let the optimistic thoughts, let the optimistic kind of, you know, pro thought process, let that be a self-fulfilling prophecy for once, okay? Think optimistic for a change and let me see how it turns out for you. Let me know how it turns out for you, all right? I promise it'll change. Write things down if you have to. Set intentions, you know, put them out in the universe, all right? Please contact me for your own personal private confidential tarot reading at lamartownsandtarot.com. I would love to hear from you. I would also love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can contact me for your own birth chart reading. Once again, if you have any questions, check out the FAQ section and the personal ethics section on my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification button. Follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Cap. For corns, lefty, let's be optimists, okay? Let's be optimistic. My stomach is growling. I don't know if you can hear. So I'm about to eat, all right? I'm about to enjoy this nice cup of coffee that I have and eat me some breakfast, all right? Slash brunch, all right? Peace out. Love you guys. Deuces.